Hello everyone, welcome to this episode. I am your host Divyan Sharma and in this episode we are going to be talking about male child sexual abuse. Uh first of all a very happy Raksha Bandhan to everyone who is celebrating it today and to everyone who thinks that it is sort of meaningless to celebrate this occasion. Well, I'm sending great great regards your way as well. Jab bhi hum baat karte hain ek safety ki, ek security ki especially for children in our society. Bachpan se देखते आ रहे हैं दैट अ सिस्टर जो भी होती है घर में बहन होती है शी इज शी टाइज अ राखी अराउंड द हैंड ऑफ हर ब्रदर रिगार्डलेस ऑफ हाउ होल्ड द ब्रदर इज इट इट इज ऑल्सो द केस दैट अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड सिस्टर इज टाइंग राखी टू अ फाइव ईयर ओल्ड ब्रदर बिकॉज सम हाउ मैजिकली इमेज इज दैट द मेल सेक्स इज सपोज टू बी पावरफुल एंड सपोज टू बी डोमिनेंट एंड इज सपोज टू टेक केयर एंड प्रोटेक्ट द फीमेल सेक्स Uh, regardless of what age brackets do they respectively fall under i think when we talk about safety and security ek bahut important baat hame samajhni padegi that it, our, our boys are also not safe that male sex is not magically abuse proof that sexual abuse happens to as many boys per day in india as it is to the number of girls in india so i think Harish's story today in this episode is a huge testament to the fact that we need to sensitize ourselves, change the presumptions that we are living in, and bring a real change in how we think and perceive issues such as sexual abuse. I hope you like this episode, and do let me know what you think in the comments below. Hi Harish thank you so much for coming on my podcast it's really amazing to have you here i have uh, seen you and i have closely followed your work and the kind of work you put out not only being an equal rights activist but also uh, being a very very uh, big name in the whole lgbt circle and putting out good work for organizations such as the nhrc uh, and a lot of other organizations of repute Thank you so very much for your work and for everything you do for human rights. Thank you, thank you so much, Divyansh. I mean, I'm I'm only the one who gets noticed, but there are a lot of people who work really hard. There are a lot of people behind the curtains whose names you'll not hear, uh, whose photos you'll not see. But yeah, but I bask in their glory. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's your humility that has brought you here, probably. but uh, either way going ahead with the conversation i we are going to talk to you uh, about uh, male sexual abuse today um, and i would just like to put a trigger warning to everyone who has tuned in with us to watch this episode and who has had some who has ha- who has been abused in the past or is dealing with some trauma associated with such issues and may not be comfortable or may not have the mind make up to watch this episode right now i really suggest and recommend you to come back to it later when you are in a more comfortable space to talk about these issues so harish now moving on with your story and i must really acknowledge it right here at the outset that it's quite brave that you have joined in today and not just my podcast it, it comes much later in time but for years you have been talking about what happened with you in your childhood so for the sake of our audience if you could just tell us uh what was this abuse that happened with you in your childhood and when was the first time that this took place and who was this person who did that to you um it was a male relative of mine i was 7 years of age when i was sexually abused for the first time and i was uh, continuously abused for 11 years from the age of 7 till the age of 18 i was raped and uh, by the time i was around 11 or 12 i was gang raped i was gang raped by um uh, by his friends and it actually started when he was giving me a bath and i didn't know um uh, you know we don't we never question boys being given bath by other men um so so no one questioned him and this is way back i was i'm referring to somewhere around 86 87 
1986-1987. I'm sure that you wouldn't have been born by then. <laughs> you are a 90s kid, mm. late 90s kid, right? Mm. So, so, um, so yeah. Around that time, I was around seven years of age, and that's when I got sexually abused. And the conversation about sex, about sexuality, about uh, sexual abuse of other genders didn't exist. When the conversation didn't exist, how will the protection exist? Right. Yeah. So, I lived in a dual world. I was when I was raped for the first time. I was very scared. He was giving me a bath, and while he was giving me a bath, he asked me to perform oral sex on him, and uh, I was uh, repulsed by it. But I didn't find it awkward. I didn't find it so. I find found it awkward, but not because uh, you you didn't know anything about it until was, then. I thought that it was what, I mean, it's a mazak kar raha hai or something. I I don't know exactly what I was thinking then. It's been many years now. I'm 42 yeah. now, but uh, but yeah, it was it was a weird kind of a feeling. And uh, but before I could even oppose something like that, he thrust my mouth in into his penis, and he had oral sex with me. He came in my mouth. He peed in my mouth on that day. Then he lifted me. He took me to the bathroom. Uh, took me to the front, to 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 the to the kitchen. Put me on the dining table and had anal sex with me on that. And day. you were seven then. I was seven. Yeah. Oh God. And where were your parents? घर में और कोई था उस टाइम when this was happening? नहीं कोई नहीं था हमारे घर पे कोई नहीं था तो इसी बात का उसने फायदा उठा मेरी मेरी आंटी थी घर पे बट वो नीचे गई थी कुछ खाना वाना भाजी वाजी लाने के लिए तो तो उस 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 वक्त का उसने फायदा उठाया और मेरा बलात्कार किया और उसके बाद ये होते रहा कि आई यूज टू गेट अप यूज क्वाइट ऑफ एन मतलब हर पंद्रह बीस दिन में मेरे साथ बलात्कार होता था और इस कदर होता था कि मैं कि मैं जब तक कि मैं और वो साथ में नहीं थे व्हेन वी वर नॉट टुगेदर आई यूज टू यू नो अलोन टुगेदर इन रूम आई यूज टू बिहेव विद हिम नॉर्मली द मोमेंट वी वर टुगेदर आई यूज टू रिमूव माय क्लोथ्स एंड लाइ डाउन इट वाज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक देयर वाज अ स्विच इन माय माइंड वेयर आई डिडंट नो हाउ टू रिएक्ट सो बचपन में आई लिव्ड इन टू पैरेलल वर्ल्ड्स द वर्ल्ड दैट आई वाज सेक्सुअली अब्यूज्ड द वर्ल्ड दैट आई वाज नॉट सेक्सुअली अब्यूज्ड एंड आई डिडंट वांट दीस टू वर्ल्ड्स टू मीट एवर um so and uh, psychologically life also kept these two worlds in parallel lines for 11 years so i could recover what was happening recollect what was happening with me only after i was 18 properly what mm-hmm. was happening to me but before Till that then I didn't. yeah because you don't understand these concepts only by the time you are it was not a question of even understanding the vyanch it was not i was not even aware if i told you that That ten minutes pele, your memory gets wiped. Mm-hmm. You don't remember what was what was happening twenty minutes before. How will that be? But that used to happen with me every day of my life when I got sexually abused. I never I just didn't remember. It used to go completely blank. I didn't know. I would remember this part. I would remember this part. This part that I was sexually abused, I would just forget. I would move here. I would not remember what was happening to me. It was very weird. But so, uh, did you ever try to tell this to your parents? उसने आपको कुछ बोला कि you know was he scared? कि कोई he wasn't scared at all. He wasn't. He wasn't because that's the reason why he he had scared me. He had told me that I should not be telling it to anybody. He will get them killed. So he had scared me. वो पहली बार ही उसको फोर्स की जरूरत पड़ी. उसके बाद उसे कभी कभी कोई ताकत का इस्तेमाल करने की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ी. Because मैं इतना सहम गया था कि मैं आ, कि कि वो जैसे मुझे कहता था मैं वैसे करता था और मुझे पता भी नहीं होता था उसके बाद कि उसने मुझसे क्या कहा है सो या सो आई लिव द लिव द लाइफ ऑफ डुअलिटी मैं दुविधा में जीता था सारी जिंदगी बचपन मैंने सारा बचपन वो उसी में गुजारा है कि मैं दो जिंदगियां साथ में जीता था एक जिंदगी जब मेरा बलात्कार होता था एक जिंदगी जब मेरा बलात्कार नहीं हो रहा था और ये जिंदगी को उस, उस इस जिंदगी को उस जिंदगी के बारे में पता नहीं था उस जिंदगी को इस जिंदगी के बारे में पता नहीं था तो इट्स अ वेयर वे यू रिमेंबर समटाइम्स व्हेन यू रिमेंबर द सॉन्ग यू रिमेंबर वन लाइन ऑफ अ सॉन्ग बट यू डोंट रिमेंबर द होल सॉन्ग सो इट्स वन ऑफ दोस थिंग्स यू नो वेयर आपको पता है वो गाना आपको अंतरा और मुखड़ा दोनों पता है 
मगर उस दौरान जब आपसे कोई ये सवाल करता है उस दौरान आपको याद नहीं आता ना अंतरा याद आता है ना मुखड़ा तो आपने कभी मैंगो की वजह से हो रहा है एक बार मैंने माँ को बताया कि मेरे अंकल यहाँ वहां छूते हैं तो मम्मी ने कहा कि उनके पास मत जाओ ये सोच ही नहीं थी ना दिव्यांश मतलब मैं अभी उनको दोष दे सकता हूँ बट हकीकत की बात है ये सोच ही नहीं थी लोगों को पता ही नहीं था कि ऐसे कुछ होता है जिसके जिसके बारे में पता ही ना हो तो उसको उसको तो उससे तुम सुरक्षित कैसे रहोगे यू नो यू कॉन्ट प्रैक्टिस डोंट आस डोंट टेल एंड एक्सपेक्ट दैट थिंग्स वुड चेंज यू नो सो इसलिए कहना तुम्हारे लैंग्वेज इज अ ग्रेट पावर के भाषा एक बहुत बड़ा ताकतवर चीज है और वो उसकी इस्तेमाल हमें करनी है बट हम कर नहीं पाते बहुत बार क्योंकि भाषा ही नहीं पता है तो कहां से बोले है ना तो आई डोंट नो न्यू व्हाट टू व्हाट टू टेल आई मीन आई डोंट आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो द लैंग्वेज आई डोंट नो द राइट वर्ड्स फॉर माय बॉडी पार्ट्स आई डोंट नो पेनिस वाज कॉल्ड पेनिस आई डोंट नो वजाइना वाज कॉल्ड वजाइना आई डोंट नो एनस वाज कॉल्ड एनस उसको हम फनी सा नाम देते थे लैंग्वेज के का ही एंपावरमेंट नहीं है तो हम आगे का क्या एंपावरमेंट की बात करें सो आई वाज इन स्कूल Uh, I remember school में मुझे चिढ़ाया जाता था बिकॉज आई टू वॉक माई बट यूज टू वॉबल एवरी टाइम आई वॉक बिकॉज आई वुड गेट सेक्शुअली अब्यूज अ डे और टू बिफोर सो आई वॉज सो आई वॉज टू वॉक फाइनलीपल यूज टू टीज मी फॉर दैट सो आई वॉज वेरी बॉडी कॉन्शियस यू नो आई यूज टू लाइक नॉट यू नो नॉट आई नेवर स्टैंड अप अड पीछे से कोई देख रहा है तो मुझे बहुत कॉन्शियस फील होता था सो सो इट इट टुक अ टोल ऑन माय बॉडी पॉजिटिविटी वाला पार्ट सम ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स यूज टू टीज मी बिकॉज आई टू क्राई स्टार्ट क्राइंग क्वाइट ऑफ एन गेट वेरी स्केयर ऑफ पीपल सो सो पीपल यूज टू टीज मी आई हैव गॉट बुलीड सो माय सेक्शुअलिटी डिट डेवलप फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई वॉज I used to when I started getting my sperm night fall जब होता था मुझे और लड़कों के सपने आते थे मुझे तो मुझे घिन होती थी खुद पर बिकॉज मुझे पता नहीं होता था मुझे पर, मैं चाहता था कि मैं भी लड़कियों के साथ रहूं और लड़कियों से प्यार करूं जैसे कि भाई मेरे दोस्त कर रहे हैं क्लास में hmm. और मुझे घिन था लड़कों की तरफ घिन था गुस्सा था और yeah. और, और, और मैं कभी ये नहीं चाहता था कि मैं लड़कों की तरफ आकर्षित हूँ राइट सो एंड आई वॉज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू मैन सो दो आई डेंट रिमेंबर माई अब्यूज बट इट लेफ्ट एन इफेक्ट ऑन मी सो बहुत सारी चीजें क्यों चीजों के साथ मैं जूझ रहा था उस वक्त या तो फिर मैं जब कोशिश करता था कि मैं लोगों जैसा बन पाऊ बट मैं हमेशा नाकाम रहता था उस चीज से मैं बन नहीं पाता था मैं अलग था आ, मैं आई आई टुक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू कम टू टर्म्स विद आई स्टार्टेड ओपनिंग अप ओनली व्हेन आई वाज एटीन जब मैं अठारह साल का था तब मैंने बात करना चालू किया इसके बारे में और uh, वो भी मेरे किसी इंसान के वजह से नहीं मेरे कुत्ते के वजह से आई हैड अ फ्रेंड इन द नेम इन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ डॉग फॉल जेमी आई यूज टू पुट माई हेड बिटवीन एस पॉज एंड स्टार्ट क्राइंग तो जब मेरे वर्ल्ड से ऐसे मीट होने लगे जब मुझे सेक्स सेक्सुअलिटी का एहसास होने लगा जब मुझे मेरे साथ क्या हो रहा है इस बात का एहसास थोड़ा थोड़ा मैं जो वर्ल्ड जिसमें याद ही नहीं होता था थोड़ा थोड़ा याद आने लगा मुझे एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड फीलिंग पेन बिकॉज टिल देन आई डेंट इवन फील पेन ऑन माई बॉडी बिकॉज यू डोंट रिमेंबर राइट सो यू डोंट यू डोंट फील एनी थिंग यू डोंट फील पेन आफ्टर यूर वोन योर क्लोथ्स आफ्टर यू रियलाइज दैट यूर ब्लीडिंग फ्रॉम योर एस you start you start feeling pain but you don't know from where that pain comes from you don't know what has happened to you before so mm. it's a very difficult phase and i don't have the right words um, i don't know i don't have the i probably have have enough language to say what i was going through now than what i was before but i still don't know if i can exactly compre exactly say it in a way that people comprehend you mm. know so a lot of time but with the help of my dog i opened up 
I was speaking for animal welfare. One day I spoke up for myself in a college full of people. I went to Khalsa College. And there was a huge crowd, and in front of the crowd, I was part of literary events. I was one of the uh, participants. So I was on stage, and people were teasing me. And uh, I took the mic close to my mouth, and I said, "I was seven years old when I became a balakkar. I was seven years old when I had a lot of fun." And this is uh, when I reveal my truth to the world. And the same college that bullied me got me on stage and and got me to speak to the audience again. And they included me almost like an induction course, wow. where every time every time there was there were students जब जब बच्चे भर्ती होते थे और college में होता था induction course के जैसे मेरा मेरा एक सेशन होता था जब मैं चाइल्ड सेक्स अब्यूज के बारे में बोला करता था तो वहां से मेरी शुरुआत हुई आज मैं वही कॉलेज में एक प्रोफेसर हूँ आई एम अ विजिटिंग फैकल्टी इन द सेम कॉलेज लाइफ बेस्ट काम this event in college well it just it just took me a kick it just took me a kick and a loud no to stop it but that kick and a loud no took me 11 years 11 years and by the age of 11 i was getting gang raped also so 11 years and i don't know how many people would have raped me by then luckily i don't i didn't have an std i got crap speech pain but nothing more than that i never got an std it's like parts of a jigsaw puzzle सारी जिंदगी मेरे को याद आते रहेगा तो एज ऑफ टाउ आई रिमेंबर फेसेस ऑफ सिक्स पीपल आई डोंट नो इफ देवर मोर इफ देवर द सेम पीपल आई माइट रिमेंबर सम पॉइंट ऑफ माय लाइफ आई एम नॉट ब्रेकिंग माय हेड फॉर इट व्हेन एवर आई डू आई विल रिमेंबर आई विल टेल आई विल रिले या एंड यू यू जस्ट किक्ड हिम एंड यू सेड नो अब यू कांट डू दिस टू माय बॉडी एंड दैट्स ऑल इट टुक दैट ऑल दैट्स ऑल दैट इट टुक या वाओ ओके so uh harish it's quite interesting that interesting rather unfortunate that you know i was reading up i was watching your interviews before this and i realized that around 54% boys before the age of 18 um, get abused and the number is i mean unfortunately it's comparable to number of girls who get abused before the age of 18 no it's so, more than number of girls who get abused yeah, yeah. it's possibly 2 3% more than the number of girls so why do you think girls ke sath itna we put them behind the bars and in homes but boys ko we never think that this can even happen because because the idea that boys uh, that girls have to be uh, protected and boys have to be pro- uh, be the protectors protectors yeah right so i think that's something that we that we need to get rid of we often assume that girls have to be the protector and boys have to be the protector no boys mm-hmm. also have to be protected yeah humne bahut baar ye dekha hai ki bahut kam chote bacche bachcho ko 10 saal ka bachcha hoga aur uski didi hogi 12 13 saal ki 10 saal ke ladke ko us didi ke sath bhejenge bolke ki beta tum jao didi ke sath tum didi ko sambhalo kyu bhai didi to badi hai didi to bachche ko sambhal sakti hai so so thing is अगर तुम्हें सची में संभालना है तो एक एडल्ट को भेजो साथ में yeah. तो दोनों को संभाल सके है ना तो 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 बच्चों को बचपन से हम बहुत सारा तुम्हारे साथ भी हुआ होगा यू हैव हैड यंगर पीपल एल्डर देन यू एंड यू हैव सेड कि तुम तो लड़के हो तुम्हें जाके संभालो उनको बट mm-hmm. नहीं हो सकता ना मतलब हमारी सोच जो है वो बड़ी पित्र सत्ता धारक सोच है hmm. तो जिसके वजह से हम हम बिकॉज ऑफ द पेट्रियाकी दैट सीप्स इन वी आर अनेबल टू सी मैन एस विक्टिम्स मैन एस सर्वाइवर्स के नो वन इज अ विक्टिम बट मैन एस सर्वाइवर्स यू यू नॉट एबल टू सी दैट बॉयज एंड मैन एस सर्वाइवर्स और जिसके वजह से वो लोग और वल्नरेबल भी हो जाते हैं बिकॉज तुम hmm. सोचते ही नहीं हो देखोगे ही नहीं उनपे शक ही नहीं करोगे बिकॉज तुम तो सोचते ही नहीं हो लड़कों के साथ हो सकता है लड़के के साथ हुआ तो ल, तो तो उसके खानदान को टेस्ट पहुंचेगी वो बाहर जाके बोल नहीं पाएगा वो थोड़ी जाके बोल पाएगा कि उसके साथ बलात्कार हुआ है 
तो उसी बात का वो लोग फायदा उठाते हैं तो दिस इज अनदर इंस्टेंस वे पैटरिया की हम्स मैन एंड आई एम इट्स माइंड बॉगलिंग हाउ मेनी किड्स एवरी ईयर वुड बी facing this and living with this trauma how many kids at this moment while you and i are talking might be getting sexually abused yeah and this is something that never leaves you for your entire life like it stays with you the trauma it stays all that you can do you know uh, it's like reading a book from a library people bolte hai na ki bhul jao tumhare sath hua bhul jao yeah have you ever had a had a breakup yeah you had a breakup Yeah. Have you ever been able to forget your breakup? No, it just reduces the intensity, reduces, but uh, you don't. Exactly forget. right. Yeah. Imagine me, my whole life breaking up. Why would I forget that? I would not. Mm. All that you can do is you will not be able to forget it. What all that you can do, it's like going to a library and reading a book. Yeah. One of the books over there is your past. so you read the book you remove the book you read the chapters of what pained you in your past but you also have to remember to close the book put it back in the shelf and walk out so that's precisely what i do most of the time i go to my past but i don't dwell there it's like going and picking up going to my past which is a wide variety of things picking up the book of my abuse from my past reading it whenever i want to but then closing it putting it back and then coming out so this is the mental exercise i have to do so that i don't stick to my past but i don't forget it either yeah it has my abuse has not made me who i am but the way i dealt with my abuse has made me who i am yeah right so so i don't want to get rid of that i don't want to stop i don't want to stop uh, um to be store you know i don't want to try to forget it hmm. because i can't yeah definitely and, and it's so <clears throat> good that you, you talk about it to people you talk about it out in the open and i am sure someone somewhere gets that kind of strength from your story and is able to say that no and take a stand for themselves and they are right so just before we end this episode to whoever has tuned in would you want to say anything to the parents of men who are abused or to the survivors of abuse anything that comes to mind i just want to tell all the parents that that um, believe your children children don't lie believe your children don't be paranoid hum um, bachcha koi bachcha koi gir jata hai to hum ye thodi bolte hain ki tum bahar khelne hi mat jao so things children could children could land up in uh, an attack but at least the repercussion of something like that will stay will not stay forever and in a traumatic way if you stand with them if my parents stood with me i wouldn't have been so badly affected for a long part of my life so you wouldn't have been hearing my story also if my parents had uh, had stood up at that time i wouldn't have become the story I would have been known for something else, maybe. I would have been a good dancer, a good speaker. Um, you not not known me for being a child sex abuse survivor. Yeah. But uh, and my parents stood with me. But my parents didn't. But I made the best of my life after that. So yeah. And anything about the survivors? I just want to say that it's not your fault. It's never your fault. And. Um, I don't want to tell you that you, if you are a survivor, you uh, you are not the consequence of abuse, right? Whatever you are is the essence of who you are. Yeah. You are you are not the consequence of abuse. You are not angry because of abuse. You don't get attracted to a certain kind because of abuse. Mm. You yourself are the essence of who you are. So don't try to mingle. Try to conflate everything with. so many things keep loving keep being there and keep being the person that you are and open up and embrace yourself reach out to me reach out to divyansh uh just reach out just reach out just reach yeah. out and there is help available go to a mental health professional reach out to fellow survivors there are many like you that doesn't make your pain less but uh, 
reach out so we'll be there for you yeah i think it's absolutely important that you flag this out it's important to find a support community and a support group where you can have people who relate with experiences that sometimes is really helpful and obviously listening to people like you talk about their experiences i, I hope this episode today sub- empowers someone somewhere and they can also talk about their abuse openly so thank you so much harish for joining me and i again acknowledge your bravery and your courage for dealing with this in such a fashion um thank you again